stay going. That's good. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. You look really cute. Thank you. Let's do kind of like a thin lane type of feel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, so in the last episode, um, it was very emotional um, with the death of Lexa. Um, Clark's character is obviously going through a lot emotionally just because she's left the camp. She's kind of on her own. Yeah. And now with the death of Lexa, um, what can you tell us about your your character development as far as the emotionality in this season? It's become very dark. Yeah, it, it has become very dark even for us. Um, uh, it's, I mean, it's devastating. She's devastating. Um, and heartbreaking. Uh, you know, she's definitely not going to be the same after this. But I guess we could say that, like, the silver lining, so to speak, um, is that she's in there somewhere. And, that, and, and, like, Clark really believes that now. You know, she has to. She has to. Like, uh, and the AI guys, chip. Yeah, I don't know if you guys watched that clip. Before, yeah. But she asks, is she really in there? You know, and, and, and he says, yes. And, and she goes, okay, great, good. Because I have so much other stuff to deal with and I need to know that she is. So, like, she's not completely lost, you know. So, there's that, and we will be exploring that. For not for so, how will Lexa's death change Clark? I mean, the way that grief changes anyone, really, it's it's, it's going to be really, really tricky for her. But she'll push on somehow the way that Clark always does. <laughs> it's what I love about my character, is that she's just, like, relentless <laughs> when it comes to doing what's best for the people. Are you, oh, what parts of season one Clark are still inside season three Clark? Ooh, um, season one Clark, it's such a long time ago. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think her tenacity is still there, it's uh, her uh, need and want for peace is still there. Not quite as many laughs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's still the same person at the core of it, she's just had a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. The story arc has changed so much from season one, and now with the introduction of Allie and this whole city of light and artificial intelligence, have you been excited about what the season is uh, coming to ahead to regarding the artificial intelligence? It seems very... Um, it's very complicated. My small brain doesn't quite grasp uh, it to its full extent. Um, lucky Jason can do that for us. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's... it's uh, it's something that I that I think is, is is a really great kind of constant in this season. You know, like in season one, it was like you know um, very concentrated on uh, finding out if we had survived and you know us just surviving, and that was like really just based around the sort of dropship and you know the, the arc. And then season two is all about Mount Weather. It's like you know it's very kind of. Um, focused on that, and I like it in season three. Although it is like it has been like, um, a little more loosey goosey, I don't know if it's a great technical term, um, uh, in the way that there's a lot going on, but the AI is the one constant. That's, that's really cool, and we're going to get to see like, a lot more of it. Um, regarding the, uh, the artificial intelligence, um, there's obviously history connected to the arc and Polaris. Um, what are you, what episodes are you looking forward to people seeing with your character in, in regards to finding out about all the intelligence and knowing that it was connected to the art, which was your home for such a long time? Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's, it's weird. It's going to, I mean, you know, like, it, the break, like, obviously I had an episode off last, last episode. So we've been, me and Murphy have been locked in this room for quite a while um, and uh, and so in that time sadly off screen I wish there was a bit more on screen I've kind of learned about as all that he knows about it so um, so I'm, I'm pretty well caught up in that way but we are definitely I mean I just can't wait for people to see the last two episodes because it's like we really get involved 
involved in, in, in that in Polaris and it's going to be bomb. Thank you so much. Thank you guys.